morning. I'm Dulce Sloan. And I'm Desi Lydic. Tonight's episode is a familiar story. Big dreams crushed by the reality of reality. The victim, Marion Donovan. The crime, being a woman. In 1946, Marion was a housewife in the small town of Westport, Connecticut. Being home and raising children, Marion got fed up with all the shit in her life. Ugh. Why is there so much shit everywhere? Why? At the time, people were using cloth diapers, and the only solution for leaks were uncomfortable rubber pants that gave babies diaper rash. So no one wanted to wear rubbers, even though they were the most effective method. Babies were like, do I have to? It feels so much better pooping against bare skin. But one day, Marion looked at her shower curtain and got an idea. I've got an idea. This can keep water from leaking out. Surely it could do the same for shit. So she got to work, designing a new, better diaper cover, which she called the boater. I did it. I'm gonna liberate women from needless domestic work. Right after I buy a new shower curtain and clean up this mess before my husband leaves me. It was a hit. The diaper covers are flying off the shelves faster than black market birth control pills. And then came Marion's best idea yet, a fully disposable diaper with super absorbent material. Marion pitched her idea for fully disposable diapers to every large manufacturer in the country, but she soon found herself knee deep in something much worse than baby poop, sexism. What do you think? It's unnecessary. There's no market for this, you dumb lady. My wife loves washing diapers. <laughs> Faced with rejection, Marion went on inventing various doohickeys and what you call it. But a decade later, she had the shock of her life <gasps> when Pampers launched a line of fully disposable diapers. Mother. That's right. A man had been rewarded for coming up with the same thing she was rejected for. And when you're done, you just throw it away. This is genius. Why has no one thought of this before? Good job, male inventor. You're welcome, male executive. Ah, oh, man, men are great. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Marion was desperate and at the end of her rope, so she did the unthinkable. Actually, that part didn't really happen. Yeah, but it should have. Disposable diapers are now a $6 billion industry. Marion should have been the Beyonce of baby care, but fate made her the Farrah Franklin. The who? Exactly. Exactly. But while she may have been overlooked in her own time, Marion's contributions live on. In homes, in daycares, in Target bathrooms where the diaper changing station is always broken and the baby's screaming and you're like, what do you want from me? <laughs> Marion was shafted. But not defeated. That's all for this week. Tune in next time for the story of another woman so powerful, so determined. Her vagina almost didn't get in the way. Almost.